let us start chemistry in chemistry we will see electrochemistry numericals we will see in the electrochemistry numericals we will go for electrochemistry numericals we will go for electrochemistry numericals we will go in the electrochemistry numericals okay this problem we will see we have seen uh, what in the sense which problem we have seen uh, how many problems we discussed in the sense uh, two problems we discussed now this zinc rod problem have we completed or not you see zinc rod problem this is zinc rod problem have we completed this zinc rod problem sir okay let us consider this zinc rod problem third question we will see that now see that question number 3 question number 3 we will see a zinc rod weighing 25 g now let us see the question number 3 question number 3 we will see in the question number 3 what is given you see that a zinc rod weighing 25 g was kept in 100 ml of 1 molar copper sulfate solution now you see this uh, sentence again in the third question first sentence we will see a zinc rod weighing 25 g was kept in 100 ml of 1 molar copper sulfate solution sir okay this point let us consider okay a zinc rod weighing 25 g was kept in 100 ml of 1 molar 100 ml of 1 molar copper sulfate solution okay that question we will take okay so here what is given in the sense what is the given that we will write here we will write here we are taking a vessel like this we are taking a vessel in this vessel what we are taking in the sense copper sulfate solution we are taking copper sulfate solution in this vessel this copper sulfate solution how much we are taking in the sense 1 molar 1 molar copper sulfate solution what is the volume in the sense 100 ml so 100 ml of 1 molar copper sulfate solution we have taken 100 ml of 100 ml of 1 molar copper sulfate solution we have taken let us multiply these two this 100 ml and this 1 molar let us multiply let us multiply this molarity and volume what we will get in the sense uh, number of millimoles so number of millimoles number of millimoles of uh, copper sulfate copper sulfate means copper ions the copper sulfate means copper ions we are taking number of millimoles of copper sulfate is how much means 100 number of millimoles of copper ions is how much means 100 sir okay to this we are dipping what in the sense zinc rod we are dipping to this what is dipped in the sense zinc rod is placed so let us place zinc rod into this so what is placed in the sense zinc rod is placed okay this zinc rod we placed this zinc rod is how much means 25 g this zinc rod is this zinc rod is how much in the sense 25 g we are saying okay zinc rod is 25 g we said okay next what they are asking so the first sentence we have seen in the first sentence so and so is there next we will see in the question continuation we will see in the question in the question number 3 question number 3 second sentence we are seeing after a certain time the molarity of cu2 plus ion in the solution was 0.8 so after dipping this zinc rod after dipping in this to this copper sulfate solution you are dipping zinc rod what happens in the sense uh, the molarity of copper ion getting reduced uh, that becomes uh, 0.8 molar so after dipping zinc rod into this copper sulfate solution this copper sulfate solution concentration becomes how much in the sense uh, 0.8 molar sir copper sulfate solution concentration becomes how much in the sense 0.8 molar sir okay so after some time after some time after some time now concentration of copper sulfate concentration of copper sulfate become how much in the sense 0.8 molar we they said now what is the millimoles of uh, copper ions that we will see what is the millimoles of copper ions now that point we will see now we will see number of uh, number of millimoles of uh, cu2 plus ions number of millimoles of cu2 plus ions we will see 
now car concentration of copper sulfate is 0.8 molar volume of solution is 100 ml volume of solution is 100 ml molarity is 0.8 let us multiply this volume and this molarity we will get uh, number of millimoles of uh, copper sulfate we will get that means the number of millimoles of copper ions number of millimoles of copper ions sir okay now you see that uh, initially initially number of millimoles of copper ions 100 after keeping zinc rod after keeping zinc rod number of millimoles of copper ions becoming 80 so number of millimoles of copper ions getting reduced that means copper ions getting reduced in the sense copper ions converted into what copper ions converted into what copper ions number of millimoles of copper ions initially 100 now number of millimoles of copper ions becoming 80 so number of millimoles of copper ions reduced due to placing of due to placing of zinc rod into copper sulfate solution so copper ions getting reduced in the sense copper ions would have re reacted with zinc rod that means reaction possible between zinc and zinc and what in the sense copper sulfate zinc and copper sulfate reaction is possible so zinc rod is zinc rod will take and in the copper sulfate will take copper ion will take between them reaction is possible between zinc and copper ion reaction is possible in this reaction zinc undergoes oxidation and becomes what means zn2 plus aqueous and this copper ion undergoing reduction and become what means copper solid in this case we have to mainly consider n factor we have to consider for zinc zinc is converting into plus 2 oxidation number that means n factor of zinc is 2 this copper ion is converting into this copper atom here n factor is 2 so n factor for zinc n factor for copper are same sir okay next you see that number of millimoles of copper ions reduced initially we have taken 100 millimoles of copper ions now how many millimoles of copper ions remaining in the sense 80 millimoles of copper ions remaining so how many millimoles of copper ions disappearing in the sense 20 millimoles this indicates that 20 millimoles of 20 millimoles of cu2 plus ions reduced 20 millimoles of cu2 plus ions reduced 20 millimoles of cu2 plus ions reduced in the sense equivalent amount equivalent amount of 20 millimoles of zinc is oxidized we can say same we can say why because both having n factor same both are having n factor same and it is the balanced equation in the, as per this balanced equation we can say like this now see that uh, initially we have taken 100 millimoles of copper ions how many millimoles of copper ions remaining in the sense 80 millimoles of copper ions remaining initially you took 100 millimoles of copper ions now how many millimoles of copper ions are there means 80 millimoles of copper ions are there 80 millimoles of copper ions so how many millimoles of copper ions reacted 20 millimoles of copper ion reacted so 20 millimoles of copper ions reduced so how many millimoles of zinc is oxidized in the sense same number 20 millimoles of zinc is oxidized sir okay so how much zinc is oxidized we got that means how much zinc is oxidized in the sense 20 millimoles of zinc is oxidized okay so 20 millimoles of zinc is oxidized we said sir okay 20 millimoles of zinc is oxidized that point we got sir 20 millimoles of zinc is oxidized in the sense how much zinc is oxidized that much is dissolved how much zinc is oxidized that much is dissolved so zinc is zinc rod zinc rod dissolves zinc rod dissolves we can say how much zinc rod dissolves 20 millimoles of zinc rod dissolves 20 millimoles of zinc rod dissolves 20 millimoles of zinc rod dissolves we can say sir this we will convert into grams we will convert we will convert this into grams 20 millimoles of zinc rod dissolves dissolves we said now 20 millimoles of 20 millimoles of zinc rod zinc rod weight we will see so mass mass we will see this mass is equal to what we can say means number of moles into number of moles of zinc zinc is monoatomic therefore gram atomic mass of zinc into gram atomic mass of zinc number of moles of zinc dissolved number of moles of zinc dissolved is how much means 20 millimoles so 20 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moles 
the gram atomic mass of zinc then we have take gram atomic mass of zinc is how much in the sense gram atomic mass of zinc that is how much in the sense 65.4 gram per mole gram per mole gram atomic mass of zinc is how much means 65.4 gram per mole let us multiply these two we will multiply these two we will get to what in the sense we will get uh, how much zinc lost we can get that is how much coming in the sense that is coming as a one point that is coming as 1.308 sir so we are multiplying this we are getting how much in the sense 1.308 this is what in the sense mass of mass of zinc rod mass of zinc rod dissolved mass of zinc rod dissolved we got so mass of zinc rod dissolved is how much means 1.308 gram mass of zinc rod dissolved how much in the sense 1.308 gram we got now let us continue the question we will see the question now in the question number three sentence last sentence we will see in the question number three we will see the last sentence last sentence you see that uh, what was the molarity of sulfate what was the molarity of sulfate they are asking sir okay what was the weight of zinc rod after cleaning what was the weight of zinc rod after cleaning they are asking then atomic mass of zinc is given sir okay now two questions they are asking what are the two questions in the sense one question is what was the molarity of sulfate what was the molarity of sulfate is the one question next question is what means what was the weight of zinc rod after cleaning so after cleaning what was the weight of zinc rod now two questions we have to see sir okay let us see the two questions let us see so what are the two questions means one question is what was the weight of sulfate sir now sulfate uh, the, sorry no uh, weight of sulfate not what is the concentration of sulfate molarity of sulfate molarity of sulfate is what they are asking another question is what means uh, what was the weight of zinc rod after cleaning that they are asking sir okay now here you see this question uh, in this question uh, in this question you are taking copper sulfate solution you are dipping zinc rod so what happens means uh, like this reaction is possible so zinc is uh, zinc is undergoing oxidation therefore it is becoming zinc ion zinc ion goes to solution zinc ion goes to solution okay this copper ion copper ion in the solution becoming copper therefore uh, this copper ion in the solution this copper ion in the solution we are saying okay copper ion in the solution uh, copper ion in the solution we are saying okay now uh, copper ion in the solution we are saying how to convert now copper ion in the solution the copper ion in the solution is converting into copper okay copper ion copper ion in the solution is converting into copper sir okay copper ion in the solution is converting into copper means this copper ion is going to this zinc rod and taking two electrons and becoming copper and depositing over this zinc rod therefore this zinc rod over the zinc rod what is there means copper is there so what you have to do means this zinc rod you have to take and the zinc rod you have to clean this zinc rod after cleaning would you do you feel that uh, the weight of zinc rod will be 25 gram or less than 25 gram or more than 25 gram what do you feel this uh, zinc rod will be what this zinc rod weight will be will be what this zinc rod weight will it reduce or what this zinc rod weight it will become greater than 25 gram you are saying said okay we will check why is it so we will check we will check why is it so okay you are saying that uh, zinc rod weight is greater than 25 gram sir okay now 
this zinc rod is undergoing like this reaction this zinc is undergoing oxidation this zinc is undergoing oxidation therefore zinc is converting into zinc ion this zinc ion goes to this solution goes to the solution copper ion in the solution copper ion in the solution goes to this zinc rod copper ion in the solution goes to this zinc rod and becomes a copper this copper is deposited over this rod therefore over this zinc rod in this zinc rod what are the things happened in the sense one is zinc atoms from the zinc rod goes to solution as zinc ions therefore what happens to the weight of zinc rod you think it then copper ions copper ions from the solution goes to zinc rod and takes two electrons and becomes copper and depositing over zinc rod now let us clean this zinc rod how we are cleaning in the sense let us assume that let us assume that we have removed what are the copper deposited on the zinc rod that we have removed like this assumption we will take we will go for an assumption how much copper is uh, the copper which is deposited over zinc rod that is removed that is removed we will say we will go we are taking like this assumption okay so now we are going for the assumption assumption what in the sense uh, the deposited copper deposited copper deposited copper over zinc rod over zinc rod is uh, removed over zinc rod is removed we have removed then uh, we have removed that uh, we re we cleaned the zinc rod zinc rod is uh, cleaned now zinc rod is cleaned we have cleaned the zinc rod zinc rod is uh, now uh, uh, that is uh, no other solution no solution solution or copper or nothing is there over the zinc rod now what is the weight of zinc rod do you feel what is the weight of zinc rod do you feel do you feel that uh, zinc rod weight will be 25 g as like initial or greater than 25 g or less than 25 g what do you think so they what they are asking means what is the weight of zinc rod after cleaning so we have cleaned the zinc rod zinc rod is cleaned sorry one student say that initial value one student say that less than 25 g less than 25 g you are saying okay now you think that this zinc rod you see that uh, this zinc rod you are dipping in the copper sulfate solution this zinc rod is undergoing chemical reaction zinc is undergoing oxidation and becoming zn2 plus this zn2 plus goes to solution therefore uh, due to oxidation what happens to the weight of zinc rod you think that zinc rod weight will be as like 25 g or less than 25 g you think that and uh, we have we have cleaned the zinc rod we have cleaned the zinc rod okay we have cleaned the zinc rod therefore uh, weight of zinc rod will be less than 25 g you are saying sir now after cleaning what is the weight of zinc rod we will see now new weight of uh, zinc rod new weight of zinc rod we will see it is equal to initial weight it is equal to initial weight minus uh, minus uh, loss minus uh, loss in weight so initial weight is how much in the sense of 25 g loss in weight how much in the sense 1.308 g 1.308 g so what is a new weight in the sense we are getting a, this much we are getting this many g so zinc rod what is the weight of zinc rod in the sense 23.692 g we got sir okay so one question answered we got the weight of zinc rod we got the weight of zinc rod is getting reduced why it is getting reduced in the sense uh, zinc is undergoing oxidation copper ion is undergoing reduction therefore uh, concentration of copper ion what happens that we will see now now let us see that uh, initially we have taken concentration of copper copper ion is 1 molar initially initially we have taken concentration of copper ion is 1 molar due to this zinc rod concentration of uh, concentration of this copper ion becoming less concentration of copper ion becoming less so concentration of copper sulfate becoming uh, that means concentration of copper ion is becoming 0.8 now initially concentration of copper ion is 1 molar now the concentration of copper ion is uh, 0.8 molar okay next you see that uh, they are asking 
what happens to the concentration of a sulfate there as the what happens to the concentration of sulfate sir in here what what is happening means a redox reaction takes place in this redox reaction which are involving that you see zinc atom is involving zinc atom is undergoing oxidation copper ion is undergoing reduction so which are involving in the sense zinc atom is involving in the reaction copper ion is involving in the reaction what about sulfate is sulfate involving in the reaction is sulfate involved in the reaction is sulfate involved as a reduction or oxidation so with the sulfate is involved in the reaction shall we say or not involved in the reaction shall we say what about sulfate sulfate number of moles will remain same in the solution or will it change in the solution what do you feel what do you feel here another point we have written that here concentration of copper sulfate here concentration of copper sulfate we have written as 0.8 molar do you feel that this is wrong do you feel that it is wrong concentration of copper sulfate we have written as 0.8 molar do you feel that it is wrong concentration of copper sulfate we have written we, we have written as 0.8 molar do you feel that it is wrong do you feel it is wrong initially concentration of copper sulfate is 1 molar due to zinc rod concentration of copper sulfate is 0.8 molar in that do you have doubt now we are considering that we are the what is the point we got in the sense initial concentration of copper sulfate initial concentration of copper sulfate is 1 molar due to reaction concentration of copper sulfate is changed so after change concentration of copper sulfate is 0.8 molar concentration of copper sulfate is 0.8 molar in this do you have any doubt now initially concentration of copper sulfate is 1 molar okay initially concentration of copper sulfate is 1 molar after dipping zinc rod reaction took place due to the reaction of the reaction is over after the chemical reaction concentration of copper sulfate is 0.8 molar do you say that uh, 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 do you say it is correct or wrong that means initial concentration of copper sulfate is 1 molar we are dipping zinc rod into the copper sulfate solution due to dipping of concentration due to dipping of uh, zinc rod uh, what happens to the what happens means chemical reaction takes place that is redox reaction took place due to redox reaction uh, concentration of copper sulfate become 0.8 molar sir okay whether it is correct or wrong we have to think we have to check sir okay we dipped uh, zinc rod into this copper sulfate solution therefore zinc rod is undergoing oxidation so zinc rod is converting into what in the sense uh, zinc is converting into zinc ions zinc ions going to the solution and the zinc ions present in the solution as what means uh, zinc sulfate what is the concentration of zinc sulfate do you feel what is the concentration of zinc sulfate do you feel what is the concentration of zinc sulfate do you feel that uh, zinc sulfate concentration is a uh, uh, zinc sulfate concentration is some value or uh, zinc sulfate uh, is not there or zinc sulfate is there if it is there what is the concentration okay you are saying that uh, zinc sulfate concentration is 0.2 molar you are saying concentration of zinc sulfate is 0.2 molar now say what is the concentration of uh, sulfate what is the concentration of sulfate in the resultant solution in the resultant solution what is the concentration of sulfate you say concentration of sulfate initial value is how much in the sense 1 molar concentration of sulfate initial is how much in the sense 1 molar now concentration of sulfate initial value is 1 molar because initially concentration of copper sulfate is 1 molar so copper ion is 1 molar means sulfate ion also 1 molar now after the after dipping zinc rod chemical reaction took place now chemical reaction everything is over now resultant solution we got in the resultant solution what is the concentration of sulfate ion how much value do you feel do you feel that uh, okay you are saying that uh, one molar concentration of sulfate ion in the resultant solution is how much in the sense one molar you are saying okay concentration of sulfate ion is how much means uh, one molar so 
we can say that uh, there is no change in the concentration of sulfate no, they asked in the question they asked uh, what happens to the concentration of sulfate ion they asked what happens to the concentration of sulfate ion they asked we are saying that uh, concentration of sulfate is uh, not changed no change in concentration of sulfate that is the answer let us go for a fourth question let us go for fourth question now now let us take fourth question now you see the fourth question now see the fourth question what is given you see now let us uh, take fourth question fourth question is about what you see in the fourth question what is the given data you see now let us see the fourth question in the fourth question let us read assume that impure copper contains only iron gold and silver as impurities okay impure copper impure copper is having what are the impurities they said one is iron another one is gold another one is silver okay after passage of a, after passage of 140 ampere for 482.5 second the mass of anode decreased by 22.26 g sir mass of anode decreased they said anode mass is decreasing means that indicates anode is undergoing anodic dissolution in anode what is possible means oxidation possible anode mass is decreasing means anodic dissolution is possible okay anodic dissolution is possible continuation and the cathode increase in mass by 22.011 g cathode means cathode means what is possible reduction is possible cathode means reduction possible so cathode reduction possible means cathode mass is increased they are saying that means over the cathode some solid is deposited okay now calculate the percentage of iron and the percentage of carbon sorry percentage of copper originally present now the, what they are asking see calculate the percentage of iron and the percentage of copper originally present okay now they are asking uh, what is the percentage of iron in where in the impure copper then they are asking percentage of copper in the impure copper sir now in the anode dissolution takes place we, we said sir okay in the cathode reduction takes place over the cathode something is deposited we said over the cathode something is deposited in the sense what do you think what is deposited do you think do you think that uh, over the cathode uh, what is deposited do you think what you, what would have deposited sir okay that that we are having a doubt sir okay now this question comes under galvanic cell galvanic cell or electrolytic cell if this question comes under galvanic cell or electrolytic cell that you think sir okay then uh, here which is anode which is cathode do you feel which is anode and which is cathode do you feel which which electrode is cathode which electrode is anode do you think that you see now uh, this process this question coming under which topic do you say this question coming under which topic do you think sir okay now see that uh, first sentence see that uh, assume that impure copper contains only iron gold and silver as impurities sir after passage of 140 ampere for 482.5 second we are passing electricity we are passing electricity in the sense this question is a electrolytic cell this question is coming under electrolytic cell or galvanic cell you think it you see that after passage of 140 ampere for 482.5 second we are passing current so we are passing current in the sense uh, this question will come under electrolytic cell only you know since we are passing current then how it will be coming under galvanic cell so we can say that uh, it is not coming under galvanic cell 
it is coming under a electrolytic cell we can say sorry it is coming under electrolytic cell next third line you see that the third line in the question number 4 you see the mass of anode decreased by 22.26 gram mass of anode is decreasing at anode what happens means oxidation is possible anode mass is decreasing in the sense anode is undergoing dissolution anode is undergoing dissolution sorry okay anode is undergoing dissolution we said okay how much mass is dissolved see anode mass is dissolved 22.26 grams dissolved sorry okay anode is dissolving in the sense anode should be active or inert that you think anode anode is dissolving we said anode is dissolving anode is dissolving means anode should be active or inactive anode is active or inert that you see anode is active or inert that point you see anode is inert not possible because anode is dissolving sir that means anode is active anode is active means what is the name of anode what is the name of anode so it is not platinum it is not graphite so uh, what is the name of anode that we have to say the anode is which metal or anode what is the name of anode anode is copper or anode is silver or anode is zinc or anode is which metal we have to consider so have they mentioned uh, anode is uh, this metal uh, they have they mentioned anode is silver metal anode is copper metal like this have they mentioned sir okay now anode is uh, dissolved uh, anode is uh, reduced uh, how much reduced means 22.26 gram reduced 22 Point twenty two point two six grams of anode is dissolved, and the cathode increase in mass by twenty two point zero one one gram. Cathode mass is increasing. Sir, cathode mass increased, anode mass dissolved, uh, reduced. Anode mass is reduced here. That is twenty two point two six gram. Cathode mass is increased. That is twenty two point zero one one gram. Increase in cathode mass and decrease in anode mass are not same. Sir, okay. Roughly, if you see, roughly if you see, year twenty two, year twenty two, year twenty two. Okay, roughly same, but decimal if you see difference is there. Sorry, okay. Now, now think that anode mass is decreased. Integral part is twenty two gram. Cathode mass is increased. Integral part is twenty two gram. So, such a type of electrolytic cell. such a type of electrolytic cell means in which category it will come you think that such a type of electrolytic cell means which category you think that see anode mass is decreased to 22 gram cathode mass is increased to 22 gram that means such a type of electrolytic cell means this process is coming under which category such a type of process is which type that you think calculate next what they are asking say calculate percentage of now what they are asking you see that uh, calculate the percentage of iron and uh, percentage of copper originally present percentage of copper they are asking percentage of iron they are asking originally present means uh, in which one in the impure copper that is the meaning no originally present means in the impure copper so in this impure copper what is the percentage of copper and what is the percentage of iron they are asking in this impure copper what is the percentage of in this impure copper what is the percentage of copper and what is the percentage of iron they are asking in the sense no doubt this impure copper is anode or cathode what do you think see percentage of copper question they are asking percentage of iron they are asking in this impure copper iron is there as impurity they said in this impure impure copper means no doubt copper is there and iron is a impurity that we also we know what question they are asking what is the percentage of iron in the original what is the percentage of copper in the original they are asking 
in the original in the original what is the percentage of iron percentage of copper they are asking in the sense now what do you say about this impure copper do you do you say that this impure copper as anode or cathode certainly this impure copper should be as one electrode this impure copper should be as one electrode certainly there is no doubt because anode is dissolved they said anode is anode mass is decreasing they said so anode is undergoing dissolution no doubt anode is undergoing dissolution in the sense anode is undergoing oxidation anode is undergoing oxidation means anode is active so anode is active means which metal they did not mentioned but uh, it is indicating that uh, anode is nothing but no doubt impure copper sir okay anode is impure copper we we got an idea now cathode is what we have to understand no one idea we got anode is impure copper okay cathode is which metal cathode either it is platinum or graphite or some other metal which metal cathode sir which metal cathode in the sense you think that here here impure copper means mainly copper will be there impurities iron gold silver okay let the regarding impurity we will discuss later mainly copper is there here anode is undergoing dissolution means in the anode copper is undergoing oxidation no doubt otherwise impure copper means mainly copper will be there impurities are this let us discuss about impurities later mainly copper is there how much anode is dissolved in the sense integral part says that 22 grams how much cathode mass increased in the sense integral part says that 22 grams so we we came to an idea that anode is impure copper we came to know that anode is dissolving means that is that indicates that certainly this copper is getting dissolved certainly this copper is getting dissolved that point also we got an idea so cathode how much copper how much anode is dissolved in the sense integral part says 22 gram cathode mass how much increased in the sense integral part says 22 gram that means over the cathode what is deposited in the sense certainly copper is deposited in the anode what is dissolved in the sense certainly copper you see that in the anode copper is undergoing dissolution in the cathode copper is undergoing a deposition that means this process is what process do you feel this process is what process do you feel is it coming under a is it this process is what what is the name of this process it is called refining of copper purification of copper so purification of copper will be done in a electrolysis method electrolysis method so this question comes under what category in the sense electrolysis okay so this question is coming under a which one in the sense electrolysis so this question number 4 is what means this question number 4 is uh, electrolysis okay in the electrolysis now we will see purification of copper or uh, refining of copper so let us see refining of copper or uh, purification of copper let us see purification of copper so this refining of copper or purification of copper comes under which category in the sense uh, electrolytic process electrolytic process in this electrolytic process uh, what is the anode in the sense anode is called impure copper anode is called impure copper what is the cathode cathode is called what in the sense pure copper cathode is coming under pure copper what is the electrolyte electrolyte is coming under a electrolyte is coming under what means aqueous solution of copper sulfate aqueous solution of copper sulfate otherwise sulfuric acid solution otherwise dilute sulfuric acid solution dilute sulfuric acid solution now we are discussing what in the sense refining of copper or purification of copper it is it is 